Hey guys, this is part two of my TITS research strategy. In this part, I'll be going over I, which is innovation. If you missed the first part, team, you can go back and watch it, I've linked it below. Innovation is gonna take a few videos to go over. This is where we look at roadmaps and use cases, which includes actual tech. The goal here is to find out if a project is bringing anything new, so are they innovating? And then later, we'll pair this with tokenomics to see if the project is undervalued. In this video, I will talk about roadmaps. I like looking at roadmaps before looking at current tech as it gives me an idea about what's coming. For example, Ethereum is currently proof of work and a lot of people argue that proof of stake is better. If we're researching Ethereum's tech and basing the valuation of ETH on the fact that it's proof of work, well, it's soon to be proof of stake. So the first thing I look at is roadmaps to see what is coming up and when because this tells me a few important things and it also answers four very important questions. One, is the tech new? Two, do they have competitors with similar tech? Three, do they have an edge over their competition? And four, is the tech needed? As in, does anybody actually want to use it? These are all very important questions when assessing a project's short-term and long-term value and deciding whether a project is undervalued or overvalued. Much of this information can be found in roadmaps. This is easier said than done though as roadmaps come in all different shapes and sizes. Let's take a look at some. Stick around until the end and I will share with you guys not one, not two, but three of my favourite projects based upon their upcoming tech from their roadmaps. You will find roadmaps on the project's website or just by googling the project name plus roadmap. We'll start with Wombat, an unreleased project that I like. So Wombat has what I would call a simple timeline roadmap. These roadmaps are usually used by new projects before or immediately after launch. You can see that the roadmap is split into quarters with what they plan to accomplish in each quarter. They can also be split into months, but it's most commonly split into quarters. Not all roadmaps have Wombat's guides, just to let you know, um, but many will have some kind of indicator showing what's completed and what's not. And this is so we know what has been accomplished and what is also coming soon. Pro tip. So I usually make a note of what they plan to accomplish and when to see if they actually meet their target dates. So Wombat have been pretty good at this, but other projects will plan something for quarter one and keep pushing it forward a quarter just because they don't get it done. So make note of their target dates and see if they meet them. So on this roadmap in quarter four of 2022, we will see the launch of incubation labs, partnerships with various protocols and multi-chain deployment. These second two are the most exciting because they could add value and make the project more desirable, which means if you get in ahead of time, you could make profit. The thing is with this style of roadmap is that a lot of these headings under the quarters aren't self-explanatory. So you may need to do further digging by looking into a project's blog or Googling something like Wombat Crypto Partnerships. This is just to find out more about the potential partnerships. Okay, so let me show you guys another type of roadmap. For this example, we will look at Metis who do an article roadmap. These roadmaps are usually very detailed, which means they take longer to go through, but in my opinion, are much better. This sort of roadmap, you will need to read it a few times to get a full understanding of what's coming. And you can assess where the project is now and where it could be going in the next few months. This style of roadmap is my favorite because its information is so dense. It means that I don't have to do any additional Googling to answer the four questions that I laid out to you guys at the beginning. Finding and researching projects is one thing, but if you want to take a trade on a project that you've researched, then check out ACAP, this video sponsor. I traded with ACAP way before they were a sponsor because they are the best place to trade crypto. You can trade through TradingView directly from your charts. They have tight spreads and lightning fast execution. Sign up to ACAP using the link below and you'll also get my free ebook. The third kind of roadmap we often see is usually from long established projects. I call it the phased roadmap. This is where the future of the project is broken down into phases. So looking at Cardano, we see that they have five stages. They completed phase three in 2021 and they are now tackling phase four. They have a brief, 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 brief breakdown of Basho here and you can of course Google Cardano Basho for more information. 
Another example of a phased roadmap is Ethereum. You do just have to scroll down a bit on here, guys. They have their upgrades broken down into phases. The beacon chain is live. Next is the merge, which unless delayed should be a month or so away. And after that is sharding, which is 2023 to 2024. You can read more uh, about each phase by just clicking on it, just like the Cardano roadmap, but the ETH one does go into much more detail. It's a little harder to use this sort of roadmap to assess a project's value over the next few months. And this is because a phase usually takes nine or more months to accomplish. You want to research a project to see if it's undervalued when it's very close to the event. So for example, the ETH merge is just around the corner. This is something that I'm going to be going into more throughout this video series as we start to bring everything together. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also hit the little bell to get notifications so you never miss a minute. Okay, so at the start, I promised you guys my top three projects that were based upon upcoming tech. Those are Nier, Azero, and Metis. Nier is a great one to mention here as it's an awesome project that its roadmap doesn't fit into any of the categories that we've mentioned above. For Nia, all you need to do is read the Nia blog to find out what's up and coming. Not every single project will have a clearly defined roadmap and researching isn't always easy. Check out Metis's roadmap, it's really nice. We've covered it briefly before. The Azero roadmap is cool too. They take a phase approach like the ETH and ADA ones that we looked at. All three of these are exciting projects with very interesting upcoming tech at the time of filming this. That wraps it up for the video on roadmaps. In the next video, I will continue to break down the I innovation in the TITS strategy. I'll be looking at a project's existing tech. Until then, remember, trade smart, don't be a dumbass, and I will see you soon.